saw a 10 second diesel truck. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, back to the garage. So, last time we spoke was at the track, or after our little track, I don't even know if a hiccup is the right word, but since we broke the truck last, um, it was leaking fluid profusely, it did move under its own power. Um, as you can see, once I got home, I had to put some pads down, and it is still, or was at least still leaking um, pretty severely. So, I don't know, seal, something, but, definitely got to come out so as you would have seen there probably in the beginning i have a bunch of scaffolding and pallets in the back of my truck um back caitlin that is so since the truck's gonna be down for i don't know probably a couple weeks um a week at best but a couple weeks we'll say I want to take the bed off the truck um when we go to do the cage we're gonna to have to go down through the bed so the bed won't be able to be removed at that point. So I'd like to take it off and just see what we can get rid of, what needs cleaned up. Maybe some stuff needs painted. I don't know, I have no idea what's under there. So I figured this would be a good time to do that. We can get, rid get the bed off, do some work to the truck. So we're gonna have to remove the hitch, the rear bumper, get the tires out of the back. Um, and just undo any of the miscellaneous stuff holding the bed on. And I'm actually gonna pull the bed off by myself. So that's why I got the scaffold. I'm gonna make a little scaffold around it. Um, like I said, the truck did move under its own power the other day when we were at the track. When we got done, you know, pulled on the trailer, pulled off. So I'm hoping that's still the case. We did lose a lot of fluid, so if we gotta put some of the old stuff, you know, used stuff back in, not a big deal. So that's kind of my game plan for tonight is get that bed off so that way tomorrow or the next day whenever we get back to it um we could pull the transmission out get that down to john and them and kind of diagnose what happened what's going on where our issues are stemming from so that's the game plan let's get to it i'm going to see if i can pull the truck forward we'll throw the drain pan under it so we don't make a complete mess of the driveway and uh get to disassemble this bitch here goes nothing. I've never, I've never actually taken one of these beds off, so I'll get the tires out, but first we'll check out the bumper. See what we gotta remove. Um, obviously, our electrical. That's kind of a hokey setup there. Look at that, just some solderless connectors. Um, this one, all right, that was easy enough. That bulb's probably no good now. That one. Uh, huh I don't know if you guys can see that um, the other night if you guys remember I said I was going to take the bumper off so we could get rid of our hitch but looking at it the bumper is mounted to the hitch so we could probably pull that all at once um, probably Yeah, we could probably just pull that all at once because it looks like it slides over the frame rails. So if I take this bolt out, which I'm pretty sure those are, I'm damn sure those are not factory Dodge washer setups. And these two over here, we should be able to slide that whole thing off. Um, looks fairly simple. Um, let's find out. Huh. 
<laughs> Look at that thing. Holy moly. I think I uh, could have used a little bit smaller washer on that one. I got all the bolts out of the side, but looking at it, there appears to be another bolt there. It looks like that's actually going through the hitch and mounting to the bed and all of that. So we'll remove those two and I think it'll come out. Oh wait. Will it? No, look. Shit, all right, I was mistaken. As you can see there, I don't know if you can actually, the body of the bed actually comes down over top of where the hitch will slide off. So we gotta remove the bed before we can remove the hitch and bumper. So I will disconnect these four bolts on the hitch and just remove the bumper for now. And then we'll pull the hitch off later. All right, the bumper's off pretty straightforward. There is actually two other bolts here behind the hitch, so I had to remove the license plate. So now we'll move on to our electrical, which it looked like maybe the taillights have to come out. And I know we gotta drop our auxiliary trans cooler. And well, we'll look and see what else we got. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I wonder. I loosened up all the bed bolts. I could probably just jack this up and then pull the hitch off. Maybe we'll try that before we uh, just pull the whole bed off. I don't know. I got the hitch out. Uh, there's eight bolts that hold the truck down. There's, or truck, the bed down to the truck, to the frame. There's two in the back here, one of which goes up through the hitch here. Um, another one like a foot or two in front of it. And then same thing up front, you know, there's one right at the front and then another one back about a foot or two. Um, the only thing that I can see or tell is still connected is our auxiliary trans cooler but if you guys remember that is like right above our drive shaft so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait till we pull the bed off to unbolt that or i'll unbolt it over there because it is right above our drive shaft and then once we get the bed up off the truck i'll put it on top of the gas tank or the fuel tank i should say and uh yeah so all our wiring is off except for this clip here. Ugh. Try that again. All right, that's all for there. Wiring's down over here. The fuel tank um, fill. Actually, I might as well set this down. I do have the front two bolts in loosely. The filler neck here, that just kind of pops in through the hole. I might have to undo it from the neck if I can't get this up high enough to get, you know, past. But we will cross that bridge when we get to it. So, now how are we going to lift this monstrosity? Well, we're going to use that scaffolding. We're going to uh, erect a little something over here. Please forgive me with my scaffold building skills. I am not a carpenter, um, so don't be putting any grievances in. This is pretty simple, but it should work. Um, but we'll get that erected, get the truck over there, and uh, pop this sucker off.
so there's our scaffold it is eight by eight so um i know we don't have a cross member down here but that would make it awful difficult to back up in there so we're gonna hang the bed from this and then we'll get our pallets underneath it after we pull the truck out and uh yeah uh we'll see if this will work <laughs> the newer beds have four of these tie downs here so we can just hook right into them pick the thing straight off or uh at least that's my plan got our two come alongs up here we got two ratchet straps in the back the bed's actually floating a little bit i'm gonna put some rags in here so we don't contact the cab and uh i did pull the aux aux trans cord sitting on the drive shift so we'll uh see about getting this puppy up uh here goes nothing I'm lifting up the bed and a uh, bottle wrench fell out of somewhere. <laughs> oh, the, the joys of finding new stuff on this truck. All the time, all the time. Wow. <laughs> We're looking uh, very dump truck-esque. <laughs> so uh, that went well. I should have really need to get a couple more come-alongs rather than them ratchet straps in the back. But uh, she's up. I basically just walked it up until I got it up enough that it was floating. I rolled the truck forward a little bit so I could, you know, come up even further before this bottom corner would hit the cab. Um, really, the big hurdle is getting the wheel out which we are pretty close still here the other side is i think a little bit higher but i'll roll the truck forward a little more we'll see what we got go for, holy shit you guys have uh if you guys have been paying attention to the channel you know this truck uh kind of we've seen all kinds of random ass shit look at that that looks like it's all sand yeah look at that that's all fucking sand. Holy moly. Jesus. Whoa. Holy shit. Um, yeah, that's, uh, wow. That's, uh, that's impressive, I must say. <laughs> oh, this fucking thing. Oh, and um, I don't know if I said anything to the camera or not, but when I started picking it, a a bottle wrench fell out for like an oxygen acetylene torch. I, I don't know where the hell it came from. I, it must be, it's been rattling around here for uh, a few 10 second passes. So, uh, all right, enough jibber jabbering. I do have the aux cooler over there on top of the fuel, ta fuel tank. So I'll roll the truck forward slowly and uh, we'll see if we can get it by these wheels. Yeah. All right. That's uh. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's get this thing in the garage.
Got the bed sitting on some pallets. I uh, had to actually put a couple more two by fours on it just so I could clear the scaffold bar, but that worked well. For going back, I'm definitely gonna have to get two more cumulongs just to make it easier. Them ratchet straps on the back were fine for going up, but I just had to set the front down and then transfer the cumulongs to the back so we could have a more controlled descent there. And I did forget forget to say earlier i did bring the industrial engine in just to get it out of the way but so we can take it apart and look at it and whatever down the road but now we can manage it with the engine hoist whereas before it was uh on the pallet and in the way so here's our new bottle wrench which i'm not still not sure where the hell it came from on here but uh that's the bed removal for a fourth gen pickup by yourself. Um, yes, you could have friends or family come help you. I sure I could have called dad, my brother, and maybe a couple other people to come remove it. But hey, you know, there's no challenge in that. So this thing still impresses me. Like I said earlier, if you've been with the channel, you remember, you know, all the crap we found on just the amount of dirt that is still on this thing. I mean, look at look at this just caked on there i mean and it's not just like one or two it's all over i mean both sides of this pipe they both got shit all in them just i mean look at just dirt everywhere i mean the fucking thing is filthy um gosh oh and then here there's like a plastic flap on the bed i, I don't know why i guess keep dirt from going damn i'm not sure but uh yeah, that's definitely worn the paint through there. And this is all kinds of scuzzy here. But yeah, it's definitely dirty. We're definitely gonna hose this, have to hose this sucking thing off before we put that bed back on. And as you can see here, I don't know if I've showed you guys this before. Whoever owned this truck previously, for whatever reason, they decided to take the uh, spare tire assembly out, but they just whacked it with a cutoff wheel, which, uh, whatever it's fine by me but i just think it's kind of funny i mean i don't know why you would do that why go through the trouble uh but yeah it's just uh I, i'm just still in awe about the amount of dirt and grime and just crap that this truck has seen i mean i guess it's been buried in the sand before i mean this is going back to when we first started tearing into the truck you know the stupid stuff we'd find but uh yeah, it's kind of par with the course for this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that's how to remove a truck bed by yourself um, and not in any kind of amusing way, like ripping it off by tying it to a tree, even though that would be funny as shit. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, like the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck.